one of the famous a crucial element along with his skills, hard work and physical fitness. While his physical prowess is evident, his mental strength is actually remarkable. So what exactly set Djokovic apart in terms of mental fortitude? He often hailed as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Believes that our minds are like unreal horses, prone to wandering and sometimes leading to us as astray. He acknowledges that even the best can flutter when it comes to maintaining unwavering focus. In his own words, our minds have the tendency to perform things we don't want them to. This statement underscores a fundamental truth about human mind. It can be both our greatest ally and our most formidable adversary. One of the uh, the key lesson Nole has learned from mental power is the importance of accepting moments of, of a lot focus. For him, it's about avoiding these lapses, but rather about how you react when you uh, when they occur. Novak champions the idea of acknowledging these temporary lapses in concentration without dwelling too much on them. This acceptance he believes is a virtual step in the path of mental resilience. Picture a match point, the crowd rose, and the weight of, of expectations bearing down on you. It's easy to understand why even the strongest mind may occasionally wander. Djokovic's approach here is rooted in the belief that it's perfectly natural for the mind to wander, but uh, it's how you regain focus them that matters most. Instead of beating himself up on a momentary lapse, Nolly quickly redirects his thoughts to the present moment and uh, task at hand. This mental agility and, uh, and the ability to bounce back swiftly often uh, from distraction is a hallmark of his mental toughness. But what truly distinguishes him from others in the world of professional tennis is his view on that time, on the time it takes to recover from emotional setback. He firmly believes that this recovery time is the defini defining factor. While some others might dwell in, on a missed opportunities or let frustration linger, his approach is to swiftly move on. He understands that dwelling on the past whether it's missed shot or an favorable call only hinders your performance in the present and the future. And one of the most intriguing aspects of his mental toughness is the role of his diet play in transforming his health and cultivating him to the pinnacle of tennis success. It's a story that reveals the power of nutrition and the incredible impact it can have to an athlete's performance, both physically and mentally. Before dwelling into dietary changes that reshape his muscle, his career, let's take a step back and understand the challenges he faced early on. He, like many young athletes, he dreamed, he had dreams of becoming a tennis legend. However, his journey was mar mirrored by health issues that threatened the derail his ambitions. He struggled with breathing difficulties, injuries on the court make it, make it challenging to complete at the highest level. The turning point in Djokovic's life came when he discovered that his health problems were linked to gluten, a protein found in wheat and other grains. Gluten intolerance, also known as a, a celiac disease, is a condition that can wreak, can wreak havoc on, on a person's digestive system and overall well-being. For him, consuming gluten-rich meals was a recipe for, for a disaster. It left him feeling sluggish, sluggish, weighed down, and physical drain, uh, making it near, uh, nearly impossible to complete, complete a tournament without suffering from debilitating uh, de, uh, symptoms. The decision to eliminate gluten from his diet was a game changer for Djokovic. Suddenly, he felt a remarkable transformation taking place with his body. He described feeling better, lighter, and cleaner. 
and quicker almost immediately after removing gluten from his meal. It was all or if a, a cool had lift, uh, lifted, allowing him to see the, uh, the perform at his best of, on the tennis court. His journey into the world of gluten-free living was not only about improving his physical health, it was a crucial step in nurturing his mental resilience by addressing the root cause of his, um, of his mental health issues, he unlocked the potential to build a stronger, more remarkable, uh, unbreakable mind. As he, delve, as he delved deeper into his dietary adjustment, he began to experience a host of, believed, of beliefs that understands of, of benefits that extend far beyond the tennis court. Extra pounds melted away, enhancing his agility and overall fitness. His energy, his energy level Surge, giving him an, the stamina to endure grueling matches and at last his opponent. These physical improvements were at intertwined with a newfound mental focus that allowed him to achieve the dreams he had harbored since childhood. Now, we know he has been doing yoga regularly and he swears by its transformative power, not just for his body but more importantly for his mind. Yoga for Djokovic is not just about contorting his body into intricate poses. It's a, it's a hostility practice that has improved his mental game in a way he will to believe. So let's delve into how yoga has become a secret weapon in the arsenals of his mental toughness. So um, the issue is, first thing is finding uh, his inner calm. In the high pressure world of ten professional tennis, staying calm under the spotlight is a must. His yoga practice has given him the tools to find the inner calm minus the chaos of a match. Through deeper breathing exercise and meditation, he has learned to slow down his mind, stay present, and not only get overwhelmed by the enormity of the moment. Think about this. Uh, when you are surfing at a match point in a Grand Slam final, the crowd roaring and the opponent eyes locked on you, the pressure is, in, is tense. Djokovic's ability to stay zen in such moment is the large part. Thanks, thanks to his yoga practice, it's like having a mental shield that keeps distraction at a bay and helps him perform at his peak. The second thing is uh, changing, managing stress. Stress is uh, the arc of nemesis of a peak performance. Too much of it and, and your game can crumble like a house of cards. Djokovic knows it all. Uh, Tennis world is unforgiving, with a resentless schedule and consistent scrutiny of fans, critics, and critics. It, this is a where yoga soups in, into and save the day. So another thing is building self belief and confidence. The mental game in tennis is a, as a, in life, often comes down to believing in yourself. His journey to become the unstoppable force he is today. He wasn't a walk in the park. He faced vulnerable opponents, doubters, and setbacks along the way. What's keep him going? His unwavering self-belief, bolstered by yoga practice. The second thing, the fourth thing, is enhancing physical and mental flexibility. The physical demands of professional tennis are grueling. The mental demands are even tougher. His yoga practice has not only improved his physical flexibility, but making him more agile on court. But it also enhances mental flexibility. The, the, the next thing is uh, booster re resilience or resilience. Life like tennis is full of ups and downs. His career has even its fair share of setbacks and injuries. What's been, what's been his secret to bouncing back stronger every time? Resilience. First start through his yoga practice. Yoga teaches you to embrace discomfort and challenge on the, on the mat. It's a practice of feeling, falling and getting back up pushing your boundaries and knowing that you can overcome obstacles. Not the ability to bounce back from injuries and lose is a statement to the resilience he is captivated through yoga. It's as if he has an inner spring that propels him forward no matter how hard he has been pushed. Growing up in 1990s in Serbia was no walk in the park. It was a turbulent times marked by war, economic crisis, and international sanctions. In the midst of this chaos, he and his family faced their fair share of hardships. It's this very challenge that sowed the seeds of mental toughness. 
in the young Novak Djokovic. You see, adversity has a way of forging unbreakable spirits. It's like a cookie ball that tests you, your ment mental, and molds you into something stronger. Djokovic, growing up in the midst of such adversity, developed a tenacious mindset that would serve him well in years to come. Having something to push for. One of the key Djokovic's mental toughness is having something that drives him, that pushes him to strive for excellence. In this case, it's a reminder of where he comes out from. It's the memory of, of those tough days in a war from Serbia that follows his de determination. When you have a background like Djokovic, it's a severance. When you're faced with adversity day in and day out, you have two choices. You go give up or you go keep go you or you keep going. Jovic chose the the latter. He and has, and his family faced economic hardships by the but he, they didn't let the data uh, deter them from maturing his talent, tennis talent. It was family effort. Djokovic parents made countless sacrifices to support his dreams. They believe in him. When others might have doubted, the unwavering support and the determination persevere to persevere through uh, tough times led to the foundation of Djokovic mental toughness. The mindset of a champion. What does it take to be a champion? It takes more than a talent or a skill. It takes the mindset of a champion. Its mental toughness is a statement of the champion's mindset. Grew up in a country ravaged by war facing economic hardship, could have easily crushed his dreams. But Jovic had a different version. He believed in his ability to rise above the, his circumstances, to defy the odds and become the best in the world. The, champion, the champion's mindset is what drives him every time he steps on the court. It's a mindset that says, I will not be defeated. I will overcome. I will keep pushing forward, no matter what. It's a mindset that refuses to accept mediocrity and constantly seek excellence. It's the Mamba mentality. We know that uh, the standard quality is his endurance. He's like the energizer bunny of tennis, always ready to go that extra mile. Ever wonder how he manages to at last his opponent in grueling five set match? Well, his endurance is a big part of the answer. Endurance isn't just about winning a lot, it's about maintaining a high level of play over extended periods. In the world of tennis, where matches can be long, physical, and demanding, his endurance gives him a significant edge. But here's the kicker endurance isn't just about the body, it's about the mind too. Djokovic's ability to stay focused and mentally sharp even in the later in the later stages of a match is a statement to his mental toughness. He knows he has a physical capacity to endure and confidence in his fitness boosts his mental strength. And another good thing about his training plan is that it, uh, is just to give his is just to give him psychic his uh, psych. His rigorous training regimen is just about building muscles or improving speed. It's about creating a mental fortress. When he steps in the, onto the court, he knows he's, he is in a peak physical condition. He knows he has done everything he can to be ready and for any challenge. And that acknowledges British confidence, a kind of unshakable self-belief that's cornerstone of mental toughness. So another crit crucial aspect of Jovic's training regimen is ability, adaptability. Sorry, he doesn't stick to a one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, he tailors his training to his needs at any given time. In tennis, as in life, circumstances change, injuries sharpen, opponents have different playing styles, and, and the conditions vary from tournament to tournament. Djokovic's adaptability, both in terms of physical training and mental conditioning, allows him to stay flexible and adjust to, his, to these changing circumstances. Adaptability isn't just about changing your game plan. It's about adapting your mindset. Djokovic's ability to switch gears mentally is a huge part of his mental toughness. He can go from being defensive to aggressive, from being patient to seizing an opportunity or because he has trained his mind to adapt. And one thing that stands about his training regimen is that 
its never ending journey is constantly looking for ways to improve his to push his women's and all and and to evolve as a player and as a person that dedication can to continue to prove is like a fuel that keeps his mental toughness engine running he's never been satisfied that and the status quo is always at the complete complacency in the is the complacency is the enemy of progress and is he has determined to keep growing both physically and mentally